YouTube, what it do, man? Y'all already know who I am. Man, man, grind hard. Checking in again with another video. And today, got a special video for y'all boys. Before we get into it, hey, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you new. And before the video is over, make sure you leave a comment for your boy, man. I do be in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? Responding, chopping it up with y'all boys. So, yeah, follow off in the comment section, man. Let's get at So, we officially one week in on NBA 2K25. And I think we got our second pass today. Before we get into it, let's go over these patch notes. Let's go over these patch notes, all right? They dropped patch 1.4 today. It's supposed to be releasing today. And they said this update will release around September the 13th at 2 a.m. Pacific time on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S with the Steam update coming soon now. Developer note, we are working quickly to resolve the most user impacting issues being reported. Feedback from the community has been quick and clear. We thank you. The patch we released prior to launch of season two will contain a much broader set of fixes and improvements spanning the entire game. 2K, I just want to say this. I want to say this, bro. I appreciate this, bro. I appreciate y'all being more transparent with us. You know what I'm saying? With these patches, usually y'all drop the patch note and that just be it. But y'all letting us know about a patch that's coming that's going to change a whole lot about NBA 2K25. Now, what does that entail and what that pass gonna entail? I don't, I can't answer that question, bro, because I don't know what feedback they listen to. In the past, I, I felt like 2K kind of only listened to certain individuals or whatnot. And I also felt like 2K really just did their own thing. But regardless of how we feel about it, let's be honest, we still buying the game, we still playing it. It's still an audience. It's still people getting uh six to five hundred thousand a million views on 2K video. There's multiple 2K YouTube with millions of subscribers right now. It worked. You feel me? So, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Back to the patch notes. Now, for the city, let's see. They said address user reported frame rate issues when playing games in Elite, Rise, and Beach Courts. Me, personally, I haven't played no part games. And let me, let, I'm going to be so honest with y'all right now, bro. 2K18 fried the park for me, personally. And, I, and the reason why I say that is... I bought multiple systems trying to play NBA 2K18. Remember when we had the Xbox? I mean, not the Xboxes, because I was playing on PlayStation at the time, but we had the PlayStation that sounded like they were going to fly off our disc. So we went about the PS Pros thinking that they were going to fix the frame rate issue because some people were saying that, you know, you get better frame rates on the PS uh, Pro rather than just uh, just the basic PS4. That shit was still trash. And I ain't, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie, man. That shit made me a wreck warrior, dog. I grinded wreck so hard that year. I think that might have been the first year of the 2K League. I can't necessarily remember when we had to do the qualifying game. If not, it, it came in 19. After that, I ain't, I ain't, I didn't want to play nothing park related. I just, I just wasn't feeling. I wasn't feeling waiting on games. I wasn't feeling hopping on courts. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't feeling none of that. I'm going to try to get back into it this year, but let me know how y'all feel about the frame rates in the park right now on NBA 2K20, uh, 25. I, I would hope that it's way better than what it been in the past. With this update, they had to address the issue with the frame rate. Yeah, let me know how that, how that turned out for y'all. Let's see, and they said a number of fixes and improvements made to the squad finder feature. Not sure exactly what that is, um, uh, what exactly they did to that, but shout out to the folks that are using the squad finder. The shutter down feature will now function as expected when playing street ball co op games. I didn't have an issue with that. Y'all can let me know in the comment section as well if y'all had some issues with that. See, resolving the exploit in a track that allowed you to achieve unrealistic time. I saw it on TikTok. Y'all boys on that, uh, on the race car track driving backwards. You feel me? Like, what the hell? I Y'all should have fixed it last year and the year before last. Because some of the times that was being reported and posted for these races, I don't know how y'all was getting them times. I still don't know how they was getting them times, man. So if y'all know how they was cheating the times in the past, let me know that in the comment section as well. As, as you can see, I'm telling y'all, boy, I might get active in the comment section because I'm in the comment section. If I'm there, y'all need to be there. Fix a disconnect uh, that could occur when playing games with NBA players in my court. The only person I played in my court was, uh, what's the boy from the Celtics? Because y'all love picking the Celtics in starting five and, and, and Drew Holiday, he be on my ass, pause, no diddy. But so I've been in my court lapping up against him, just just finding out where it really just bust his ass up. Pause, no did it. Yeah, but he ain't never disconnected or quit on me. But shout out 2K for addressing that. Gameplay wise, they say address the user reported situation where players were prevented from being substituted when on extended hot streak. Man, I'd be cold as hell and still not getting subbed in. So I don't know if it had nothing to do with hot streaks, but they hey they would leave me in the game, boy. So I couldn't move up and down the court. I had to foul out to get out the game. It's a fixed issue that will cause the takeover meter to drop down to tier one if I already at tier five when the 10 chemistry meter is filled. 
I ain't even unlock tier five uh, takeover. But shout out to 2K for fixing them issues. Uh, my NBA, we don't play my NBA. I don't play my NBA. Let me let me correct that because I don't know what y'all boys doing. Yeah, if y'all play my NBA, they say arenas will not appear correctly when playing the all-time teams at home in NBA. In my NBA, expansion teams will not have a proper floor when playing NBA cup games in the, uh, my NBA. For it's my team, shout out my, my team niggas that got that bag because you got to have a bag to play my team. So if y'all dropping that bag on my team, shout out to y'all. You feel me? Y'all, you know, I aspire to be able to throw money away in my team like y'all boys do. If, if I had the bag to throw away money in my team, just, you best believe I'd be in my team cheesing my ass off. But... Hey, my bag ain't, my pockets ain't deep enough for that, my team. They said they fixed the user reported disconnect that would occur at the start of showdown and salary cap games uh, for PC. Now, for my PC users, listen, I ain't gonna lie. Like I just said, with the my team, my pockets ain't big enough for me to be buying VC because you know it's a hundred plus dollars per my player. I already bought 2K. You feel me? I had to buy, I had to buy another pack of VC for clothes and uh, tattoos and stuff, but I only got one fit, so we thugging it like that right now. When when the PC version of 2K go on sale, I will be on that PC, but until then, you know, we gonna rock out on this Xbox. -y. You feel me? Uh, for PC, fix the issue that prevented the Sim to next appearance option from activating as expected in my career when playing on monitors with a particular high refresh rate. Yo. And see, that's why I want PC, bro, because I want that refresh rate. I want them more frames. I want that crispy gameplay to bring to y'all because I got something in mind that I, I really want to do on my channel in, in regards to NBA 2K25, but I, I, it got to be done on PC. So when I cop that copy, y'all stay tuned for that. I'm telling you, I got something that's going to drop that, that's going to shake the whole community. You feel me? It's going gonna, gonna to start a whole new wave, a whole new trend with the 2K. Let's see. And to resolve the issue that could cause long hangs during the initial launch sequence. That's pretty much it for this patch. All, only thing I can say in regards to reading these patch notes, the game that we've been playing is the same game that we're going to be playing after this patch. So it ain't really too many game changing patches that came with this patch or whatnot. So it's still the same game, which let me clap. Appreciate that 2K. Y'all y'all letting us get used to it. But season two, I just say it now. We will have a ver different version of NBA 2K25. Another thing I want to touch on on this video, for real, for real, is the shooting in NBA 2K25. I ain't going to get on here and complain because that ain't that ain't even what this video is about. I do want to kind of express some concerns that I do have in regard to shooting. So when I dropped my last video talking about the shooting, a lot of people was in the comment section saying, RNG, RNG, no per green window, this, blah, 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 blah. And in my head, I'm thinking, bro, how y'all know that there's no green window on the game if y'all not cheating? You would have to be cheating to know that there is no green, no per green window, you feel me? Cronus, Zens, Titans, all this shit. Let me just say this now. The reason why shooting is the way it is now is because y'all expose the fuck out of Zens, Titans, all the little mighty controller hacks and all of this, y'all did this shit. So they had to combat, they had to come up with a way to combat the team because I don't even, I still don't think there's a way to really detect it like the actual console. Sony and Microsoft would have to ban them. The device is literally a device. And when you playing the game, like the game just recognized that shit as a regular controller. You get what I'm saying? 2K had to come up with a way to combat that shit. I just personally feel if it is the truth, RNG is not the answer, 2K. Like I just, I I, I can't, I don't like RNG at all, bro. I, I don't. And RNG is random number game, random. It's random. It's, it's random. It's like a, I don't know if it's like an algorithm. I don't know. I just know that you ain't got control over RNG. I put it to you like that. Like it, it's literally random. I don't know what kind of algorithm or, or a script or code that they got in place where it kick in it because sometimes your shot is one thing and then sometimes you if you do it the same exact way and that's why I said the only way they would know that is Bro, you would have to be testing out and cheating and changing milliseconds and shooting at the exact precise millisecond every single time to know, hey, this shit is changing, bro. Like, it's not the same. I also look at it like this. If people was able to test it out and find out that, hey, there is RNG in the game, then that means that devices do work because you would have had to use the device in order to find it out. Now, I'm not sure exactly where that information is coming from. I haven't personally seen Mike Wang or any developers just come out and blatantly say that, hey, we do have RNG in NBA 2K25. Now, I personally don't feel like RNG is in every single shot you take, but I do feel like after you take a few shots and you hit a few shots, bro, like it kind of get random. And an a issue that I have with it is, if I shoot the ball and I miss, my next shot, I'm adjusting because of how I missed. Now to combat 
all the things that the community is saying and the way that I've been playing the game is I have to turn off the feedback now and just keep shooting the same. If I'm off, fuck it, I'm just off. You feel me? Because I can't think about RNG and trying to adjust my shot because who to say if the shot that I took was timed correctly and then my next shot I just now I'm shooting wrong. You feel me? When I should have just stayed with what I was doing. So I'm just locked in right now on what I know my shot is. If I make it, I make it. Hey, if I miss, I miss. I just keep playing. Now, you also got to think about the flip side of that. Let's just say, let's just say, hypothetical. There is RNG in NBA 2K25. The minute 2K put a pure green window in the game, Cronus, Zens, Titan, Mighty Controllers, all of this bullshit that people been using for years, bro, way before last year, way before year before last, I, were, I first got introduced the thought of what it could be way back on NBA 2K17. 2K17 was the first year I heard about a Zen or a Titan, all of that shit. And I went down a rabbit hole and I said, oh shit, if a community get a hold of this shit, it's over. That was years ago. Actually, I take that back. It was 2K, whatever your solo monata had the YouTuber showdown, there was a YouTuber using a Cronus in that tournament. For those of you that don't know what a Cronus is, the Zen is the second version of the Cronus. So basically it's the same thing. The Zen is just a, a updated version or whatnot, but essentially they work the same, bro. They, the software changed, but they essentially work the same. And it's crazy. I had no idea back then that they were using these devices to actually cheat on the game. I was just thinking like, I was just so illiterate to the idea or whatnot. I was just thinking that it was used to make controllers universal. Back then we didn't have Xbox and PlayStation. You either was on PlayStation or Xbox. Now, you know what I'm saying? You people got both, you feel me? Back then, if you was a PlayStation player, then you liked the PlayStation controller. If you hopped on Xbox, it was hard to adjust. So they would use the Zen back then to be able to use the PlayStation controller on Xbox and vice versa. So that's just what I thought it was up until 2K18. A guy come in my stream and he like, yeah, bro, we just hooked the Zen up, go to the Gatorade facility. That's how we hit 99. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not sure if 2K developer was aware back then, but yeah, it's always been a thing. So the changes we seeing now is to combat what it is the community because it's the it's, it's what the community did you feel me like we we, we wasn't playing the product legit and i said we not because i was using no fucking device but because i am part of the community the community wasn't playing the, the game legit so now they're having to come up with ways to combat the cheating and everybody having to suffer i just don't feel like rng is the answer although i understand the minute a pure green window is open zen cronus titan that whole community because it is a whole mighty community the minute they get a whiff of what that that window is bruh it's over all in all again if rng is the thing in nba 2k25 i just rather 2k have a a, a script or a code in place to see hey this user is shooting precisely the same millisecond every single time they shoot and add, have that in place to identify that type of muscle memory like yeah flag that account like you feel me like put them through some type of process to prove hey i'm not cheating you feel me now i don't know what type of impact that it have i'd rather have that than have rng in play when i'm playing the game and then my shots just be random but again it's all speculation like i said 2k haven't came out and said that but y'all can let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about it i just know if I shoot the same way every single time, and I'm not saying I'm the best shooter on the game, but for years I've been able to time my shot on the game. Yeah, I, I can say I could, I've been able to time my shot pretty pretty much the same. You feel me? And when it changes, I notice it. So I'm I'm just not a fan of RNG at all. That's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. Let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this patch and the patch that we know that's gonna come and change everything. What would y'all like to see in that patch? And also. Give me y'all opinion on shooting. Don't just say it's ass, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Let me know how you feel about it. Like, why you like the shooting or why you don't like the shooting in NBA 2K25. My man, man, Ground Hard checking up out of here.